my son and I, and the time that we went to go see Michael Bublé. It was a few years ago, and my son was way more of a fan than I was. I used to refer to him as Michael Bubble, and um, I, um, my son wanted to go see him, so it was a gift, so after all, since it was a gift for him, I obliged, and I took him to Hershey, to Giant Center, and we went there. And I was moaning and groaning about how he was just a poser, you know, because I did go see, um, you know, the king of the crooners, and, uh, and I just felt like he stole everybody else's music, but I was like, I'll go, you know. So I went, and I, I went and I got great seats, which is amazing because I am computer illiterate. And I got the seats on the computer and I was like, wow, these are great. I don't know if they were on the floor or the whatever it is. And I got it in the aisle. I, I, Mom rocked, okay? So, okay. <laughs> so we go, we sit there, and, and then the, the band that comes up, right? They, they started the starting band, whatever they are. And then Michael Bublé comes on, and I'm like, oh, this guy's not so bad. not so bad. I'm snapping my finger, my foot's tapping, I'm like swinging, you know? Okay. He's no Frank Sinatra, but, you know, he's good. Yeah, I'm old. I saw Frank Sinatra. Okay, but okay, but he was good, right? So I start, and I look at my son, and I look at his face, and the joy on his face. I just filed that memory under never to be forgotten. <laughs> the joy of my son's face, I never forget it. And memories for my children are up there with nothing else. The memories with them are the most special in my life. I have three sons, by the way. I know I don't look that old. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so the music is going and he's all the way up on that stage, right? And then all of a sudden, like these two beams of light, like, like, like UFOs came, okay? And it's like <laughs> choppers coming down and, and, and the other lights are dimming and these lights are spraying on us and I'm like, what the heck is going on, Alex? What's going on? That's my son, Alex. He's really cute, too. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on, Alex? And he's like, because I can't hear anything. That's me doing an invitation, not being able to hear. <laughs> and then he just goes, he just goes, pushes me, pushes, uh, pushes me over, okay, to where this motion is, this movable, this portable stage comes over, and it's going right down the aisle where we're sitting, okay? I'm like, thumpity, thumpity, thump, and I'm like, what is going on? Alex, what's going on? And he pushes me over, because I'm, I am so naive. I don't know what's going on anytime. All right, so, that's why I had kids. Okay, so. <laughs> if you're thinking about having kids and you're not sure, have kids. You're clueless when you get to reach my age and they help you, okay? <laughs> they direct you into the places you need to go. And smartphones, smartphones, they help you with that too. Why can't I hear my ringer? Mom, you shut it off. <laughs> anyway, so, Mom, what am I gonna do with you? That's what they, I hear that all the time. Just love me. Love me the way I am. Okay, anyway, back to my boo boo play. So, the lights come on, and then, um, the movable stage, and all of a sudden, my son pushes me over like two, three, four steps, something like that. And he pushes me over, and all of a sudden, I am right in front of my boo boo blank. I kid you not. He's not bubble anymore. You could tell I, I transferred over. Okay. I found a new love for the young crooner. I did. And I'm this mild mannered. Okay, I'm not mild mannered. I can't even pretend. <laughs> but I'm going, my arms out, arms outstretched. Michael, 